Hi there! In this video, the main character is the NVIDIA Jetson Nano development board. The goal of this project is to study the abilities of the Jetson Nano to detect humans in an unconstrained environment like a forest from a video stream obtained from a quadcopter. Here is Jupyter Lab server dashboard that provide me access to the development Python notebook program as well as the folder structure of the Jetson Nano board. First of all, I uploaded several movies used to extract the images required to train the last layer of the neural network. And I also uploaded other videos different from the first ones that were exploited only in the training phase. These new movies are used to test the performances of the neural network. Test 1 up to test 6. The image extraction process for the training of the, of the neural network and the training phase were done using all of these controls. As a result, 240 images were extracted for the first class and the same number of images were extracted for the second class. But now I will only load a save model obtained previously and I will show you the testing phase of the neural model. The neural model is a REST net or the residual network with 18 layers in this case. Ok, let's start the testing process. Here we can view the live feed from the movie. All the movies have 29.97 frames per second and in the same time we have the possibility to see the model performances here, both of them in real time. So, for each frame, the network produce at the output layer some values for each of these possible categories. Here we have the probabilities distribution for each class. The difference between the predicted output and the actual label is used to calculate the confusion matrix. In the program, we have a vector that store the label for each movie. The first movie is one where are no human presented. In the second one, we have humans. In the third one, we do not have humans and so on. The accuracy is computed from the confusion matrix and is displayed as well in real time. The time required to get a frame to process and classify the same frame is presented in real time in this box.
the end of the testing process, the mean classification time and the standard deviation of this time are presented on these widgets. From both classes, we have almost the same number of frames, 654 for no human class and 656 for the human class. In the end, the model accuracy is 90%. A very great result and you can see that the Jetson Nano can make more than two classification per second. Thank you very much for your attention.